know exactly where this deep patch of water is as we come down here and we're not going to run aground because it's all marked on the chart. So all we need to do is make sure we keep these on our starboard side and that means we'll be in this channel. Okay, Harry, get your pen ready. 4267 yeah, perfect, yeah, perfect. Is that the green one there? Yeah, that's so the I need green to keep one. that left of us. Yeah. And then there is that, is that a there? No, there's not. Okay, well then I'm worried. Is that our next red buoy that I'm pretty much headed for there? That's the green one. Yeah, we join the centre of the channel now. Okay, it's a bit like, it's nowhere near as easy to figure it out as we think it is. What do we want to be on this one? This is where our sea voyage will begin. And we'll travel all the way out here across the sea. North Sea, down past Norfolk here, Great Yarmouth, Lower Soft, and then Thames where we'll be coming in and up towards London. That or starting at 11 a.m. That means that it's to the west. We are there. This is so pro now. We know what we're doing on the charts. I wouldn't get too far ahead. <laughs> I feel like uh, this is fine. It is a little confusing with all the little green and red boys. It's also really confusing looking out of the window because it's like, is that the thing we mean? Is yeah, that that's the, thing? the light ship there. North Hall. Yeah, yeah North Hall. Does it say 17. North Hall? Yeah. Uh, is this our channel down here that these red and green? Yeah. So we follow this one. Yeah. In between, all the way down. That's it. Yeah. Our orders from the captain were yeah. to have uh, breakfast started at eleven. You know, we're, we're having we're, too much fun, Ollie. Eleven oh five a.m. Lovely. So that's a lovely straight line, Ollie. Look, We've got a nice straight line coming down here. Are you not joining up the dots? Shall we join I up think the dots? You're supposed to. Oh, let's join up the dots. Yeah. I don't know if you're supposed to be writing it in green pencil though. Harry. Steve said. No, I think, I think Ollie and I are getting our confidence. You know, Ollie's very good at the charts. Um, he makes a cracking cup of tea and I'm just really good at driving boats. Helmsman, please steer 147 degrees. Roger that. Is that right? We're taking the port side channel, aren't we? Uh, what do you mean? We're taking the outgoing channel. Yeah. No, there's not. There's, no, look, this is, see there's one here. We're taking the foul home channel. Look. Yeah. I'm really bad at this binocular stuff. FH4 it should be. FH4 confer. Uh, uh, what am I steering, I just Harry? Just a pencil. What am I steering, Harry? I'm not doing a very good a job with the pencils. Not the best sharpening. Yeah, because it's really hard. No. This is, if I can't get this pencil sharp, the whole the whole trip could be ruined. Inside Are we nearly ship. out to sea now? Where does the sea start? Right around here. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to proceed on down yeah. round number 9A. And then over the page into that shipping lane. So this is getting yeah. busy here. Oh, entry restricted. Okay. Yeah. Okay, well, let's, so let's go up here then and up and round, yeah? No. Is that no? No? Oh, no, no, no. Should we go down below yeah. it? Yeah, go down below and then we, we can more or less take a 90 degree. Yeah, so 110 please, helmsman. Oh, when the, when the wave hits the bottom of the boat, that goes right through you. It's a little bit bangy, isn't it? Mm. So we are now properly at sea, aren't we? Mm. It's like, this feels a lot more like uh, I much. imagined it would. It's definitely going up and down a lot more. Yeah, there's some interesting banging on the map here it basically shows you all the depths five meters and then it goes deeper here 11 meters 15 meters here and we don't want to be in this really shallow bit here where you can see it's two meters one meter if we went into the one meter bit it's quite likely we'd run around again so we, we need to be in this bit Well, Harry, I was just saying it's an interesting <laughs> role reversal today because I'm at the helm and you're the man on the charts and you're starting to enjoy it, I think. I'll be honest, Ollie, I think maybe I've got the hang of this. Hey. We all thought I wasn't going to be good at this, but I, I do actually understand it now. We've had a couple of counting errors and direction errors, but nothing major, right? Yes, you've, you've made some mistakes at the helm too, let's not forget. Indeed. We've had some choppy <laughs> water. I've been sworn at. We're actually doing all right. I mean, we're doing it, Ollie. We're driving this boat out to sea, and I think you'll find we can officially say we can't really see land now. Yeah, I think we're, oh well. Ooh, I There's think a tiny bit over there. Yeah. But if you look that way, this is, we're definitely out to sea. Yeah. Four, 
five, six, maybe seven, seven nautical miles from land. But I totally feel like um, I understand what I'm doing with the maps. So you've got the numbers up the side, numbers across the top, longitude and latitude. Mm -hmm. And then I just read those off, see where we are on the grid reference. A bit like doing a uh, treasure map when you're in school. to see Harry roundly humiliated. Come in, come in, closer, closer. Oh no! You're too weak on the speed. Way too much on the speed, yes. Put the revs down. Why don't we put the revs down? Well, it didn't seem to be going anywhere. It is, it was just starting moving. If I was in that water, I'm not sure I'd want someone jabbing me with this spike. How do you, how do you avoid... Your line, but you have to get... Oh, you're supposed to pull the line with the hook and not the hook. Seems to be sort of slightly approaching him. Want to stand? Look as you can. Want to miss her? Ah! Oh. Ah! Get it? No! Mind that don't get caught in the prop. Mind that don't get caught in the prop. There's a line on it. Jesus! Harry, stop! Don't go back. No, I'm going forward. I'm no, going don't forward. Don't go forward. I thought we were worried about getting caught in the prop. No, 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 no. If you put it in gear she, and don't rev her, she'll just very slightly go back and lost all her momentum now. We're now 15 minutes into our drill. There we go. Everyone hold on. Revving her up. No, 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 oh, no rev. Just cancel your rudder. It's hard to know bloody where I'm going to just cancel. Okay, Here's now this is the gear. Pull the, the stern, yeah? <laughs> Oh my god, this is a hard ship to control. What did it hit? No left, no left, I need to save it. Okay, come on alongside, so I'm still in gear. Casualty recovered! There we dead, no medical assistance required. Where does the pokey stick live? Driving this boat is really hard. I felt like I wanted to prove that I could do, do the manoeuvring and uh, I failed. The man overboard died at sea. It was my fault. I had too much throttle. I just wanted to do it quickly because, you know, it was a sense of emergency. I wanted to pick him up and um, I made a fool of myself. But You're going to bed while we're out manning the boat? Yes, yes. I am. So you are in complete control. Well, this man here... Yeah, I am in complete control. Nice, Steve. Nice, Steve. <laughs> Sleep well. Don't let the bed... Don't. Sleep well. <laughs> so this is it, we're in charge. We are in charge. I'm just like nervous about it so, getting dark. Because I have no idea quite how it's going to go. So, Harry, if we steer 110... Always seems to be fine about it. 110. We should be coming across the this sort of big open bit of sea. What time have you got up there? Uh, I've got uh, 16.43 on the clock. 16.43? Yeah. Sorry, 18.43. 18. <laughs> I was a bit worried I would get seasick, but actually I'm sort of enjoying it at the moment. Yeah. Fam famous last words, of course. I'm just reading ships monthly. Um, welcome to the Spencer Ships office, uh, where we have a number of things at our disposal. Here is the weather station, which is telling us where the wind is coming from, southwest speed of the wind here. I can also make uh, my own announcements by taking the microphone here, simply switching it on 
and uh, humming gently to the boys in bed. So basically, when I'm sitting here, I can be the nerve center of this uh, operation and bark orders at Harry and Ernst. Everyone a lovely little bagel here, so maybe we'll have some peanut butter on that, and um, just you know, it'll keep us entertained in the wheelhouse. Right here, we've got our fridge down here, we've got a hob here, and then down here, we've got the oven. Great little toaster, it's a lovely two slice, never really goes wrong. Um, I've never been very good at spreading, it's one of my big failures in life. I mean, who wouldn't want to eat that? <laughs> Hey guys, I made us some bagels. Oh, Harry. Yeah. <laughs> Here you go. Yeah? Thanks, Harry. You got one without Marmite. Thanks. I want one without Marmite. Oh, okay. That's all right. <laughs> Ollie's at the helm. The sun is setting and we are we're driving this boat. It's just us. Dog poo on the boat. Dog's pooed on the boat. <coughs> I need to I need something to scoop it over the side. Film these couple of dudes here being sea dudes. Just two guys in a boat at night, checking the radar, checking the depth, looking checking the, the GPS, looking position at the sea. on the charts. I mean, how hard can it be? But there are explosives out there. There is foul <laughs> ground. There are firing ranges. There are passenger ships. There are gas pipelines. There are wrecks. There are probably sharks. So Steve's asleep right now. He is, but we're going to wake him up. No way. Partly he's asked us to wake him up. He's asked us to wake him up, partly because he's taken the night shift and we have been on for nearly 12 hours, but also partly because we are literally about to go into uncharted territory. <laughs> There's a boy about an hour and a half down Look at that, that way. What's that? That's a boy giving off some, that gives off some kind of signal. Yeah. Start from the start, what does radar do? Okay, basically, this is our radar system. It's quite old school, but in fact, it's very high quality and technology hasn't changed very much. So this sends a radio wave from our, our transmitter on the roof, which rotates like this, sending out radio signals and then picking up and receiving those signals as they bounce off a hard object. So as we range out to 1.5 miles around here, we can see that there's actually nothing around us. All we're picking up is the scatter around our boat at the moment. And then we go to three miles, and then suddenly we can see something over here, which is probably a boy. a boy over there, yeah, but nothing else. We go further out, we think there's a, there you go, there's a boat here. So there's a boat that's at roughly six miles. No, that's the land. Oh, that's the land. Thanks, guys. <laughs> um, Hello. Oh, look, the captain's up on deck. The captain has emerged. The captain's being out the region. All staff are watching the Yeah. yeah. Hangman's noose minus the noose. It's just to make that heavy. Fits right. Now, I've got this rope coming off here. The rabbit comes out of the hole, and it goes around the tree, and then what you have there... Okay, bear with me. Try again. Um, purple pig, over. Yeah, this is, uh, this is purple pig. Uh, go ahead, over. Purple pig, this is egghead uh, looking for a callback. Uh, Roger that, here's your call back, big love, um, great conversation and then this is key because yeah. we're ending and we want to give our channel up to other people, I will then say Purple Pig out, Yeah. what you never clear. say, never say over and out. That's a real shame though because over and out is pretty much the coolest thing you can tell on a radio. 
Yeah. Other than rubber ducky on the one night. <laughs> Type of sausages. <laughs> okay, no little dog. <laughs> in they go. Okay, I'm just going to pop those in there for about six hours. I feel like this might be my place on a ship doing the washing up. Of course, what's nice is I've just been down in the engine room tinkering around with the diesel. And here I am just fingering some bacon. <laughs> what I'm doing is I'm looking at where I had, how far I went in half an hour there. And I'm looking at where we are now. And I can see that's half an hour, one hour, one and a half hours, two hours. In two and a half hours, we should be at the mouth of the Medway. Obviously, that's a very rough estimate. Literally. We have a stern line ready, are we? To the ferry. Stern line ready. Oh, that's right, ready. So I think it went extremely well. I'm extremely proud of Ollie's and give yourselves a round of applause. These were absolutely yeah. fantastic. Well done, Ollie. I mean, I mean there have been some stressful bits, but I've had you a lot of fun. You particularly got more, more stressed, I think. And you particularly enjoy that. But um, I felt safe at all times with Captain Steve in charge. He's trying to get some last minute brownie I points mean... in because he heard <laughs> there was concern. Um, I have in front of me um, certificates of service. This will go towards very much a large, huge chunk um, of your coastal skipper, not even day skipper. We've gone past that now because we've done uh, an over 24 hour shift, therefore it's, it jumps into the coastal skipper. Very well done. Thank you very much. Well Cheers. All right, thanks, Steve. The very best of luck. Well we did done, it. Very well done, very Thank you very much, gentlemen. Well done, Ollie. Thank you.